The 2016 Florida Drug Report was released Thursday, ranking Manatee County the highest in fentanyl-related deaths. But numbers have drastically changed since then. SNN's Jennifer Vagelis has a closer look. Once an opioid wraps itself around your head, it's, it's very difficult to overcome. Not impossible. There is hope out there. A 2016 state report places Manatee County at the forefront of an epidemic. The only county with more than 25 fentanyl related deaths per 100,000 people. But things are looking up. 2017 was going to be what I thought was going to be a record year uh, as far as overdose and deaths. But um, we're looking at our numbers in the last four and a half months. We've seen a reduction in overdose and deaths, approximately 84%. The catalyst? New legislation to target dealers. In July, Governor Scott introduced House Bill 477 to Central Florida. Making all those analogs a Schedule 1 narcotic so that we could make better enforcement on a particular statute. We made it a trafficking offense. Helping addicts. Introducing an intervention program. Anybody who has a drug addiction and they want help, they can call the Manti County Sheriff's Office. We will pick them up, we will take their drugs if they want to turn drugs in, and we'll give them a ride to a treatment facility. Another shining light in this very dark epidemic is the community coming together to form an alliance. Drug-free Manatee, no longer silent, and prodigal daughters work closely with Manatee County Sheriff's Office. It's amazing because you're seeing a difference. You're seeing a difference in every aspect of recovery. You're seeing every single place press in more. And they won't stop until the epidemic is eliminated. When people see Florida and they see Manatee County, they see the highest overdose deaths. But I absolutely believe that they're gonna look at this county and the surrounding counties and this state, and we are gonna be a beacon of light. In Manatee County, Jennifer Vaglis, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.